Imagine this. You tap send, and in the time it takes to blink, your message flashes through hair-thin glass beneath the ocean, leaps across continents, and lands in someone's pocket halfway around the world, still warm from your fingertips. That near light speed relay is the internet, the most ambitious engineering feat in human history. Over the next few minutes, we'll peel back its layers and expose the cables, computers, and brilliantly simple protocols that keep the planet talking. And if this gives you an aha moment, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe to stay ahead in tech, and share it with someone who is always fascinated with how tech works. Visualize the internet as an immense road system. Each device, laptop, phone, smart TV, game console is a destination on the map. When you open a website or send an email, your data sets off like a car journey. It leaves your driveway, your home network, merges onto local streets, your router and modem, joins regional highways, your ISP, and eventually reaches international motorways, the global backbone before arriving at its endpoint. Information never moves as a single monolithic file. Instead, it is sliced into small blocks called packets, typically under 1500 bytes. Each packet carries a fragment of your original data, source and destination IP addresses, sequencing numbers for reassembly, and a checksum for error detection. Think of packets as envelopes in a postal system. Each is individually labeled and routed. Even if two packets take vastly different paths, they slot back together perfectly at the destination. Every internet-connected device receives a unique internet protocol IP address. Here's an example. 203.0.113.7, which is IPv4, or 2001.0db8.85. A3 colon colon 8A2E0370 colon 7334. That's IPv6. These addresses work like telephone numbers or street addresses, telling routers exactly where data should be delivered and from where responses originate. Routers operate at network intersections. They inspect packet headers, consult routing tables, and forward packets toward the most efficient next hop. If a link is congested or offline, routers reroute traffic in milliseconds, keeping data flowing. Switches function inside local networks, forwarding packets only to the intended device, which reduces unnecessary traffic and boosts performance. Routers are the highway junctions, while switches are the street signs that guide traffic within the town. Memorizing a sea of numbers is impractical. The domain name system, DNS, translates friendly domain names, example.com, into numeric IP addresses. When you type a URL, your device queries a DNS resolver, retrieves the matching IP, and then initiates the connection. Caching ensures repeat lookups are nearly instantaneous. Protocols define how devices converse. The cornerstone suite is TCP IP. IP handles addressing and best path routing. TCP guarantees reliable delivery. It numbers packets, acknowledges receipt, requests retransmission if anything goes missing, and reorders packets on arrival. Other protocols include UDP, which is faster, connectionless transport, ideal for streaming. ICMP, which is for diagnostics like ping and BGP, which routers use to exchange large-scale routing information between ISPs. The Internet's workload is divided between servers, robust machines or clusters that host websites, applications, email systems, and databases. They stand by 24-7, ready to answer any requests. And clients, user devices that initiate the requests and display or process the responses. Imagine a server as a warehouse filled with neatly indexed information and clients as shoppers requesting specific items. Your web browser operates as a client and speaks HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, or its secure counterpart, HTTPS. A typical conversation, your browser client sends a GET request for a web page. Then, 
your server responds with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, images, and headers. And three, browser assembles and renders the resources into the interactive page you see. HTTPS wraps this exchange in TLS, Transport Layer Security, encryption, shielding it from eavesdroppers. Internet service providers provide the physical and wireless links. Fiber optic cables, copper DSL, coaxial lines, 5G cell towers, geostationary satellites, and hundreds of undersea cables. All of these connect your local router to the global backbone. Major ISPs peer with one another at Internet Exchange Points, IXPs, ensuring worldwide reach and redundancy. Security begins with encryption. TLS transforms readable data into ciphertext before it leaves your device, and only the destination possessing the matching private key can decrypt it. Additional safeguards, firewalls, intrusion detection systems, two-factor authentication, layer on further protection against malware and unauthorized access. Much of the Internet's data resides in data centers, massive buildings housing thousands of servers. Cloud computing allows users to store data and run applications remotely, accessing them via the Internet rather than local storage. Think of data centers and cloud services as giant secure storage units accessible from anywhere. In essence, the Internet is a complex yet beautifully orchestrated global system of interconnected networks, devices, protocols, and infrastructure. From your browser sending a request to a distant server, packets journeying through routers, and data securely reaching your screen, the Internet seamlessly connects us all, enabling communication, innovation, and a growth at unprecedented scales.